Yeah. Four? So actually this was a silver digger, mining, mining digger thing. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how it looks like here. Probably very touristy. Granny's craft. tour here. Um, I don't know if I can film, but I try. It's a, a guided tour. Are right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. My name is LT King. I am the sheriff of Calico. I'm going to be your tour guide. If you have a question to ask along the way, just ask, and I'll try not to mind you too badly, all right? Okay. Uh, are you scared of anything? I don't like small, tight spaces. What about the big brown spiders that crawl on the ceiling and drop on your head? I'm from California, I'm cool. No, because <laughs> we don't have any. Nothing to scare you. Small, tight spaces. Yeah. You'll, you'll be okay. You know, in the mine, you can do this and this and not touch them. Okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. That. If it gets too bad. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, let's go have some fun then. Okay, you guys go all the way up. Don't go in the house yet. I am right here. Okay. Now the house here, the shack, was built by a fella called Harry Dover. Harry Dover was a miner and he worked in a place called the Silver King Mine, which is the big red mountain that says Calico. Harry was in there one day, had an accident, and lost both his legs right up to his knees gone. That didn't bother Harry. Harry had some old pieces of wood. He carved out some brand new legs and was walking around again in no time at all. In fact, the only problem he had, one leg was shorter than the other. So Harry always stood at an angle like this. And it was on that day he built this place. That's why the house is crooked. Harry was crooked. Now, he built the water trough right here. Hey, which way does water run? Up hill or down hill? Always down. I've got a bucket of water here. I'm going to pour it into here. The water's actually going to settle in the center. Watch this. Oh. Water's going uphill. Now, if you're wondering why water runs uphill here, I just found out recently Calico is part of Egypt, and in Egypt, water runs uphill. See all the neat, useless things you guys have done with mystery shit. Hi, right, you two, come on in. Lean to your right. Wow. Oh, now, that makes yeah, you dizzy. Lean back just a little bit like he is on Lego. Yeah, oh, you guys look like Michael Jackson. All right. This is the house that Harry built. He built the ramp right here and bet that it's easier to go up the ramp than down the ramp. We're going to give this a try. You get to do this one. <laughs> oh, both of you get to do it. You yeah, do. Give me a tap. <laughs> are you, uh... It's running. Okay. You guys are going up the... Run. Run up there. Run. Run. Oh, come on, young. Anybody who is busy like Eddie right now, you better get over it. I got another half a house to do. 
like, yeah, I'm going to follow you guys next door. All right, guys, I get a lot of dust, dirt, wind, and sand blowing through here. Oh, my goodness. I'm in here all the time sweeping, cleaning, just like Harry's wife used to. Did I mention Harry had a wife? No. Her name was Eileen. I leaned over. <laughs> Harry, being the man that he was, was always calling Eileen from her chores to help him build one of his silly projects. So she had the broom made, and whenever Harry called on her, she would set the broom down and walk away. Is that awesome or what? Uh -huh. And people always ask, how do you stand the broom up? I'm going to tell you my secret. A good friend of mine gave this to me. His name is Harry Potter. You guys know Harry Potter. <laughs> Hated the broom, sent it to me. It has been working pretty good since then. Now, I do have Harry Dover's old chair. He didn't let anybody sit in the chair, not his wife or his son. Did I mention Harry had a son? His name is Ben, Ben Dover. <laughs> no one was able to sit here until Harry died. And everybody from around the world could sit here. And that made Harry angry because his ghost came back. All right, come here, young lady. Oh, dear. Okay. I got you. Walk right down the path. I promise I'm going to let you slip her phone. Thank you. Have a seat. You're doing good. Slide back. Okay. <laughs> Put your knees together. Hands on your knees. Harry does not like this young lady sitting in his chair. In fact, Harry's ghost just sat down on her back. Now, don't move your hands. Stand up. Come on. We can let him there, girl. We can <laughs> Harry's a big fat ghost. You can do it. I can't. I can't even reach. All right. Be back. Slide your butt up. Well, come on, come on. Put your hands. Put your hands. <laughs> Lean back. Slide your butt up. Wait, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now sit up. Don't use your hands here. All right, stand up. Hands <laughs> up. Say woo hoo. <laughs> All right, that's a tough chair, isn't it? Yes. All right. Come on, partner, let's give it a shot. All right, knees together, hands on your knees, hands on your lap, stand up. <laughs> slide your butt. <laughs> okay, watch. Slide your butt. Way up. Now, now, now. now sit up. There you go. Use your feet. There you go. Oh, I'm going to that. Yeah. Put your hands. Put <laughs> My pants are just <laughs> This is our time out chair. <laughs> All right. Hey, I got a magic trick uh, to do. I'd love to show you folks. So, sweetie, I'm going to borrow you oh, and my assistant today. Okay. Come right on here. Hang on on uh, this side. Just lean for me. Okay. All right. Sit down. This young lady and I, we're going to show you a little magic today. You guys like magic, right? Yeah. Always. I can do a disappearing trick. I can make her disappear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, that was a test for us. I he know. didn't pass that at he all. Didn't. Did we are not going to make her disappear. I've got a better trick. I can do a very old pool ball. Now, the trough here is gravity fed. That means that both these balls will take down. And these are for you. Go ahead and blow up. Say the magic word, abracadabra. Abracadabra. Take the ball with the smallest number, set it right there. Ah! <laughs> Put that purple ball in there. Oh, no! no. Put the pink ball anywhere you want. Anywhere. Those are the magic pool balls that you give this young lady a big hand. That was better than Harry Potter the day of the week right there. Thank you. Right. Yeah, you can come back around. Right. Let me tell you two a story. Harry Dover was out in the desert one day searching for a little silver and gold. The family was poor. Didn't find it. What he did find was a small brass water faucet, a water tap. Picked it up, cleaned it off, turned it on, and just like magic, water came out of it. He came home and built a wooden shed, hung it up so everybody could see it. Harry's dead and buried. I still have the faucet. You guys want to see? Okay, we are going downstairs to your left. Hang on to the rail on the right. Even the stairs are tilted to the right side. Nice. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a dog? Nope. No dog. You know Harry had a dog. A little black and brown mixed mongrel dog lived inside. 
One day, Harry was driving by on his wagon, and the dog got out of the house, ran right towards Harry, got up under his wagon, and was killed accidentally. Man, it broke his heart. He loved that dog so much that he started to cry. You know what that dog's name was? Brand. Randover. <laughs> right around the corner is a little wooden shed and a window. Look through the window. <laughs> What do you guys think? Have we seen something like this before? Is there an idea how it might be working? Plastic pipe. <laughs> the water goes through a tube into the faucet, out of the faucet, over the tube like a fountain. Yeah. Great guess. Ten years ago, that's exactly how we did it. <coughs> but that's old technology. We don't do it that way anymore. Now, the way it's set up right now today will amaze the both of you. Do you want to know how this works? Sure. It works very well, thank you. <laughs> One more attraction. We had a hurricane blow through here about two years ago. You're from California, correct? Okay. You might remember this story. It, uh, this storm it actually blew in through Baja, Mexico, in the Southern California. I live eight miles down the road. The storm blew in two live bats in my yard, a male and a female. You guys have seen bats flying around before, right? Now, these two are special. They were blown in from South America. They're very large jungle bats. They're rare because they're albino, completely white from head to toe with pink eyes. Here's the best part of the story. Last week, the female gave birth. I've got a little tiny baby in there. Now, they're excitable with the baby. We're going to walk in front of their cage right now, so don't wave your hands or make a lot of noise. Take as many pictures of the bats as you want. Come see these great white bats of Calico. Oh, look at the baby in the middle. These are the Louisville variety right here, guys. These are called slugger bath. Hey, did we have fun today? Yeah. Young lady, what was the magic word you used? Abracadabra. Remember that word. If he gives you any trouble today, abracadabra, and he'll know it's working, he'll be rolling uphill. Watch out, partner. She is not on that <laughs> She was before. <laughs> Where? Mystery mine? Uh, Maggie mine. Maggie mine. And it goes under the city. Yeah, it goes underneath, and then we will come out at the top of the city. So it's kind of a shortcut. I'm filming. Don't be that idiot who comes and falls off the ledge. <laughs> where are the running snakes? Crack on your windscreen. Yeah, I know. Dun, 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 crack. Um, Calico is done. I got some souvenirs. <laughs> uh, and now we are on the hunt for food, maybe a little bit. Something. Yeah, but first. Definitely something to drink. I'm on thirsty. the road. On the road. Let's go down the road. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.